Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at a new app that Microsoft is working on. It's called SNP and it comes along with our O365 environment. You can download it from mix.office.com forward slash SNP. I've already installed the application. Let me show you what it looks like. So, right at the top here is the drop down that will allow me to use this application. I can either capture anything on the screen, and when I say capture I mean take a screenshot, or I can use it as a whiteboard. For this example, I'm going to capture something on the screen. I'm going to highlight this bottom area here of my desktop. And right away, the image is imported into the SNP editor. And in this environment, I can record my voice while I annotate on top of this image. And it will save that as a video that I can then share later on. So let's see how it works. First, I'm going to select the microphone. And then I'm going to select a pen color. And now I'm going to annotate on top of the image. Hey folks, I want you to take a look at this new browser that comes with Windows 10. It's pretty cool. It's called Edge. Don't be fooled by the icon. It is not Internet Explorer. When I finished annotating and recording whatever I want to for this screen capture, all I have to do is stop recording. And now I'm given a number of different ways that I can share this. I can share it by embedding it in a website. I can email the link or add the link to any of my Word documents, or I can even send it to OneNote. What I'm going to do for this example, though, is I'm just going to simply save the video to my desktop so that I can play it for you, and you can see how quick and easy it is to produce something to share with your students, or your students can share with you. Select the microphone, and then I'm going to select a pen color, and now I'm going to annotate on top of the image. Hey folks, I want you to take a look at this new browser that comes with Windows 10. It's pretty cool. It's called Edge. Don't be fooled by the icon. It is not Internet Explorer. That's all there's to it, folks. Hey, I'm here to help. If you have any questions at all, make sure you ask. Thanks for listening.